Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? This is me. I'm back again. Um, I have a small Dollar Tree haul, uh, prior to share that I was doing last night. And before I get into that, I have a rant. I'm going to rant right now because I'm like highly upset and I don't know what else to do. Well, the situation is, um, I was chatting with this lady. We decided on doing, you know, we chatted a while and, you know, she came off as a lovely woman, you know, you know, I thought we were becoming friends basically. So, um, we decided that we were going to do monthly, um, happy mail swaps. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but swaps is you send and you receive. Correct? Am I correct in that? Okay, so we decided on doing monthly um, Happy Mail swap. I kept my, my side of the swap up, I think, at least. So um, this been going on like for almost a year now. So I you know, send her her first package um, for that month, sent her a second package for the following month, sent her a third package for the third month. You know, me being so nice and, you know, I continue to send her packages every month and every month she would tell me, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm going through this. Okay, I understand. Every month, you know, she was having her issues, which I understand. Stuff happen in people's life and you have no control over it. But um, she was receiving my packages just fine. And like I said, it went on for quite a few months, not just two months, like probably four or five months. I was sending her packages. I was creating stuff, sending that to her and a happy meal package. Um, so I finally received the package from her and it was probably getting into the fourth time that I had already sent her a happy mail package. So I finally received one package from her and, you know, I felt like she had no intentions on doing the monthly swap. She just probably wanted to see how much or how long I will continue sending her packages, you know, sending her stuff that I have created and stuff. So I received that one package and to tell you the truth, I was like, you could tell she like grabbed whatever she had around her and stuffed it in the box and sent it to me. Half of the stuff that she sent me, it was nothing that she said she was going to send me before like she would text me i'm gonna send you this i'm gonna send you that okay fine you know whatever the case might be but then i started backing off i'm like you know i i wasn't liking the way i was feeling you know i felt like she was taking me like you know a sucker basically like or let her keep sending me packages and i'll keep her uh, i keep stringing her along telling her I'm going to send her this, I'm going to send her that, and whatever the case might be. I have no problem in sending out happy mail. I love, you know, giving because that's the way my mother raised us, you know, share. I come from 10 siblings, so we had to share, you know. But I guess she figured that she noticed that I was backing off. You know, she was text messaging me. I ignore her text messages. She would send me um, messages on Messenger. I ignore them too. Until this morning, I got an email for her from her. And it was like a page long email. She just kept rambling on and on and on. And what really upset me about the email was like, oh, I really enjoy receiving your happy mail. Um... I'm so sorry, but I would like to continue to see if we could 
continue um, swapping Happy Mails. Continue swapping Happy Mails. You only sent me one Happy Mail, and I sent you like about five or six. I'm pretty sure I sent her like about five or six. Every month, I was sending her her packages. And you miss, like, and then what got me was, I guess she's been, so when I send packages, like, for example, to Jenny, if I send her happy mail, or, you know, whoever I send happy mail to, and they make a video, and they tag me on it, so I guess she's getting the notification, and she's watching the other person's video, Oh, that was very lovely what you did. You sent that. It was so beautiful. Oh, I want to get back into swapping Happy Mails with you. No, not happening no more. Sorry. I don't know. I have told you in a nice way. I you go your way. I go my way. Don't bother me. Um, Enjoy all the Happy Mail I sent you. Just leave me alone. Because I don't want my old me to come out of me. And I don't want to tell this woman in a bad way. So am I wrong? Or I don't understand. I just don't understand. If you agree to do a happy meal swap with me, you know, and I understand, like I say it, I will say it a hundred times. I understand. I know people go through that stuff and issues come up, but keep in contact with me. Like, let me know, oh, D, this is what's going on, and this is, I'm not interested in what I could get from you. You know, I'll be concerned, you know, uh, how you doing? Are you okay? You know, is there any way I could help? If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. That's just me. But don't continue to string me on to receive happy mail from me but then your intentions were never what never was to send me back anything like i said and i'm a grateful person you could send me a little piece of paper a little car anything a pencil i don't care i appreciate everything but do not string me along wanting to swap happy mail and never send me anything back in return and if you did send me something back in return you know, it was, you should have just kept it because you could tell. I know when someone sent me happy mail with love and everything, and I know when someone just stuffed something and said, like, basically, so she could shut up. I'm not that person. Sorry, this is the old day coming out of me. I used to be, before I would not bite my tongue for anyone, and I didn't care who it was. I just didn't care. I became a better person. And, you know, made friends through Facebook, Instagram, everything. But I just want this lady to leave me alone. So I don't know what way I have to tell her to leave me alone. She truly thinks that I'm going to get back on it and start having sending her happy mail again. So she could have me waiting more months for a package. And then when she sends me a package, it's like ridiculous stuff anyways i need my girl's advice out there whoever watching this uh, how is it a good way to tell this lady that i do not want to deal with her no more and i'm tired of it i'm tired of hearing her you know um i got my own issues too so what is a good way to tell this lady to leave me alone? That's what I really want to know. Can one of y'all out there please help me out and let me know? I don't want to email her back with being a very rude person because I could be very rude. But I don't want to do that. So how is it a way that this lady could get it in her head that I'm not going to send her anything anymore? And I do not want anything anymore to do with her. So that's my rambling. I know I'm looking kind of cuckoo, but I really don't care at this point. But I have a small dollar tree. Please help me, people. Please, I'm begging. Let me know what I could do. I'm a very nice person. I'm, you know, just 
Give me some advice how I could get rid of this lady because she's annoying me. I have all her nice ways, but I guess you don't listen. Well, anyways, I have a small Dollar Tree haul here. <laughs> I know I look crazy, right? So let's get into the small Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree haul. So I bought some highlighters this is for hubby because he reads the Bible and you know and he likes the highlighting certain passages she probably need to go read the bible i'm sorry um so this is for hubby some highlighters then they have these electric toothbrushes but battery operated so i got one for him and one for me um i bought these two sharpeners i had them two for a dollar because I have pencils that have been gifted to me, but I have no sharpener to sharpen them. And I really want to sharpen them and use them. So I got two sharpeners, two for a dollar. I got this um like burlap with lace. Um I have a lot of ribbon. I just don't have no lace at all. Like I want to do things and add lace to it. I just don't have no lace. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some. I bought these two candles. Candles, huh? This must all good. Fresh linen. I don't know. Um, I'm addicted to the fresh linen smell. I just love apple smell all day. It smells so good. Then I got the apple cinnamon, which is smell really good too. Then, um, yeah, another fresh linen. Oh my god, so good. Then I got this fragrance booster. And I usually use this because I have like those electric burners where you burn the wax, you know, for the um smell. But I burned this on my electric burner, and your house will stay smelling like fresh linen all day long. It melts just like a wax. And, but it smells so good. So this is what I use when I don't buy the wax and I have this. This is what I put in my electric burners. Then I usually always get, excuse me. I got these, um, the Outlast Extend Secret for, I usually carry one like in my purse and stuff. You never know when you're going to need it, but I don't smell, but I always use this. So they have the um, wider one in the Dollar Tree now. See, this one is smaller. This one is wider. So I got two of these. I'm addicted to these. They are the also. And for my desk, they have these cute pencil holders. I got this. The pencil holder that's for my gel pens that my girl Chevy sent me. Then they had the car holder. I could use this to put the cars that I get. Oh my. Then they had the paper clip holder. So ain't these cute? I love it. Look. This is so cute. I got that. So that's all for my Dollar Tree haul. So last night I was up because I took an early nap. Like I actually fell asleep on my husband watching a movie with him. And he says I do, that. I do it every time. So I took an early nap. I ended up getting up. And then I took a nap again. And I woke up. And then I couldn't sleep. So I started doing some crafting. So I started making my my bows with my as you can see with my envelope punch board so I started making some bows because I want to make some embellishments to send out probably put some on paper clips or you know send them look how cute they are so cute look and I use the little flowers that my girl Mariah gifted me these flowers my friend Angela gifted me 
So I do put to use whatever, um, you know, I get in Happy Mail. So that's what I was doing. So I'm going to make some more bows. See? I'm going to make some more bows. So that's what I did last night. And basically that's it. Um, I have a project that I'm working on. Like I said, I'm making that nice wreath for my friend. And I'm also doing some letters for her. I'm going to put them up in her room. But I'll show that when I get started or finish it. So I'm sorry for the ranting. But this lady really touched my nerve this morning when I got that email. And if I read the email on here I think a lot of y'all would think she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because I don't know what other way to you don't do that to a person don't say you want to do a monthly swap if you tell me I, ha I have a monthly swap going on with one girl Melissa that I met in another group a uh, pocket letter group and we do a monthly swap and she have never failed me and I have never failed her with our monthly swaps. And if anything going on, she let me know. And if I have an issue getting her pocket letter out to her, I let her know. And, you know, we understand each other. So I have monthly swaps going on. And But this lady, she just, like, burned me so bad. Like, it's, you know, I spend my time, my money doing, you know, creating stuff to make people happy and I send it to them, you know, happy mail and some happy mail I sent, I just send it out of the kindness of my heart and because I really appreciate that person and I don't expect anything back. So, but when you decide you want to say you want to do a monthly swap with me, you know, hold up to your side and I always hold up to mine. It's like I have never flaked on anyone, not even with a pocket letter or anything i'm making my point to send out what i say i'm gonna send out and that's just me i've been flaked on so many times it's not even a joke i'm telling you i have a list of the people that has flaked on me but it's okay because you know the only thing that accepts it accept me about it is i spend my time doing it you know crafting it and you know i spend my money and sending it out and i'm on a budget okay so i don't know if this lady think i have money coming out of the yin yang but i don't i'm on a budget my husband works two jobs and i live comfortably so just leave me alone. I know you're going to watch this video because you're a stalker and you stay stalking me. That's another thing. I blocked you off everything, but you always find a way to try to contact me. But I know you're a stalker and you stalk in my videos. So leave me alone. That's it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, my people. Sorry for the ranting on. I'm just upset today because um, once I got that video, that that email this morning i was like no did no she didn't go there she misses my packages like really all right so i'll be on i don't know when i'll make the next video i have some projects i'm doing so i will share that with everyone so thanks for watching and to my subscribers thank you so much for supporting me um I think I'm not probably going to do so many videos because of a stalk I have. But anyways, I'll continue doing it just for my real people out there. My real, you know, subscribers that really like watching my videos and stuff. So please, can someone comment and tell me how it's a nice way for me to tell this lady to leave me alone that she's not going to get any more happy mail from me. Because she never kept up to her her side and sending me my happy mail. So thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm going crazy. I have to take my medication. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.